What's going on everybody? My name is Carson Reed from Cinema Motions and today we're going to be taking a look at the all new Rococo Coil Pro. You'll have to bear with me on the voice here. I'm like 98% okay, but still a tiny bit sick but anyways the coil pro this whole point is to make it so that way if i move my hand and i go left to right it'll move left to right with or without the suit um, it makes one-to-one -one accuracy for when you are wearing the suit and doing motion capture so i can actually touch a point in 3d space move around for however long the battery lasts and if at that very last second i want to come back and touch that same point it'll be locked in. It'll be one-to-one. -one. You won't have to do any additional cleanup or fight with the software. It's seamless and it's great. So when you're setting up the Coil Pro, there's a few steps that would seem unorthodox. Now, Rococo does send you a video and they have videos up on their YouTube that'll explain how to set it up, how to make sure that everything's going according to plan. For me, I did not follow that at all. Zero help. Uh, I got the box and I hooked it up. I probably did something wrong along the way, but it still works and it's a tremendous piece of kit. Now, if you take a look around me, you will see the coil, the gloves, the helmet, and then right behind me, I actually have the SmartZoo Pro V2. So I've got the full kit over here. Um, and I won't lie, Rococo did send out the Coil Pro early for me to test and use. However, my thoughts and opinions are my own and it's, it's, it's so cool. It's honestly so cool. I am so serious. When I first got this, I played with it for three hours. I didn't record a single thing. I had my business partner come over and we recorded some quick B-roll, but this was something that I was so excited to use and to play with that I completely forgot to record any data. Um, now, I did get some data, finally, but the first, the first few days, I was just sitting there and anytime I would put on the suit, I would just get immediately taken away by the Coil Pro, its performance, how well it, it handles certain situations. Um, Two-handed objects, not even a problem. Um, maintaining that same point contact, not a problem. Super pretty design, by the way. The box itself makes it feel like an Apple product that I'm opening. So, you know, the packaging team did a great job on that. You got your get starting guide right there. And then this cool thing, hold up. Let me move my laptop out of the way. Opening up the box, it's like an Apple presentation. It is insane. It's pretty and it's super clear and it does this. Are you kidding me? That is so cool. So inside you will find my greasy fingerprints all over the plastic. That is entirely me. It didn't come like that, um, but it is kind of heavy. You know, it's got some weight to it, won't lie, but Underneath, you will see you've got your adapters and your power cables and things like that that you might need. So they've got European adapters, American, which is the only one that you need. When you first open up the Coil Pro, you'll have a uh, little USB-C cable. You want to plug that into your laptop and actually go ahead and update the software for it ahead of time. Then you can go through the process of setting up your gloves and your mocap suit to make sure everything's on the right Wi-Fi. Then you can unplug this and plug it into the power cable. Now the power cable is, and they, they make it extremely clear, like, hey, you have to use our power cable, and there are reasons for that. Do not, under any circumstance, try to use a cable that does not come included with your Coco Coil Pro. I am going to repeat this again. Do not use any type of cable that does not come with your Coco Coil Pro. It will break it. Granted, I did not follow any instructions, so, if there's something I'm missing, please refer to those as, you know, your guiding light, don't follow me. In the time that I've had the Rococo Coil Pro, I've been able to put on the suit, the gloves, everything, have this all set up, ready to go. I calibrate my actor super quick, and then I can record the data and immediately plop it onto a character and have a full scene done in under 20 minutes, which is absolutely insane considering my previous time, I would have to plop on the suits, do all that stuff, but then there would be a ton of cleanup afterwards. 
Now there's still going to be some cleanup depending on your character model, right? Like if they've got a giant suit of armor versus wearing a skin type mocap suit, it's gonna be some differences. But the cleanup of like the hand completely phasing through the chest or going under the arms like that, uh, that's completely negated with this helpful tool. So having this piece of tool right here, not only has helped with the motion capture process, but it's also helped in my clients, the way that I communicate to them. Because now I can show them like, hey, this is accurate entirely, and I'm not telling them, don't trust me, it'll look better after I clean it up. One thing that I absolutely really like about the coil is how quickly it will work. So it works based off the gloves. So if you don't have the gloves in the scene, then the Coil Pro won't pick it up. But the second that you plug these in and they end up connecting to your internet, to your PC, whatever, um, this will just immediately turn on and start working. You can disable it, but for the most part, it will immediately turn on and you will be good to go doing whatever it is that you want. Now, speed and efficiency are crucial in this industry. To be able to have this set up on just a basic tripod or a C-stand, pop on the suit and everything's immediately ready to go, that saves you a ton of time. You know, you're not sitting there cleaning up things. You're able to get quicker iterations out for your clients. So this piece of tech has already saved me countless hours and I've only had it for about a week and a half, okay? It is incredible. As you can see, I've put some damage to it, my fingerprints, my greasy, greasy little fingerprints. But anyways, um, it is heavy, so get a tripod. I have said all of the things that I love about this. There's one thing that I don't like, that I don't have more. Rococo, look at me. Look at me. I want to daisy chain five of them in the ceiling. In the ceiling. All around the studio. So that way I can take the mocap suit and I can walk around freely. You can mount these things into the ceiling. So that way it's not in the way of your actors moving around. So if you have a larger studio space like I have here in Atlanta, you can daisy chain these. You can set up several of them and just walk. So the super sweet thing about having all of these within the Rococo ecosystem is that all of them work with each other extremely well. So with the gloves and the coil, you get the one-to-one -one accuracy, markerless accuracy that's insanely precise. If I hear one more siren, I'm gonna lose. So with the gloves, you get the one-to-one -one accuracy with the Coil Pro, and with the Smart 2 Pro V2 that are glove ready, you can have all of this within one nice seamless package. Everything is connected based off one battery, and then you can move around freely. And then the fun stuff is using the head mount. This is all the way on the other side of the table here. So head mount, super sweet. You can use your phone. However, the best phone, in my opinion, is the iPhone 11. Um, that allows you to still use MetaHuman Animator. Um, and I've done a few tests, and it's the only one that seems to work. But if you're just using the Rococo face capture add-on and this, then it'll work on any phone. iPhone, any iPhone, not Android yet. The new Rococo coil is absolutely incredible. You get the speed, performance, and you get the accuracy. And it is, it is an absolutely amazing tool to have. Um, I would say if you're doing motion capture more professionally, buy it 100%. It will save you time in the long run. It will save you money in the long run. And I'm sure that if you're proficient enough and you get really, really comfortable with all the tools that Rococo has to offer, um, you'll be able to make all your money back in two or three projects, which is absolutely absurd. If you have any more questions or maybe there's something that I skipped over or didn't go too much into detail, feel free to contact me down at the email below. Uh, I've included my Twitter, my Discord, my Instagram, that kind of thing as well. So that way y'all can connect with me on different websites and things like that. So that way, if you do have questions, I can go ahead and get those sorted for you. My name is Carson Reed with Cinema Motions. And if you're interested in more content like this, using motion capture, making CG films, that kind of thing, feel free to follow, subscribe, share, give it a like if you don't mind. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.